guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita and if you're not, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I apply my eyelashes. So I picked up my favorite, favorite, favorite eyelashes. They are the Kiss Ever Easy Eyelashes and it's in the style 11. Now these are by far one of the easiest eyelashes eyelashes lady. these are by far one of the easiest eyelashes that eyelashes is eyelashes i can't talk today one they're very gorgeous they're very pretty they're very natural they're 100 percent human hair lightweight and also reusable and not to mention it also does come with a little applicator in the back here which is amazing and great so this is what the pair of eyelashes or multi pair of eyelashes look like Look at how pretty they are, yes. When I apply my eyelashes, I personally like to use like these really thin and pointy tweezers, but you don't have to use them. I'm gonna tell you that, you don't have to use them. You can use a pair of tweezers that look like this. Um, and that will work as well, or you can use the little applicator. Now I'm gonna show you how to use it with the applicator and how I use it use my tweezers so since i don't have any eyeliner on right now i am going to be using the kiss strip lash adhesive and this is in clear this is one of my favorite eyelash adhesives as well as the clear duo one before i start doing my eyelashes i want to go ahead and take out one pair you want to be really really careful taking them out because if you yank them off, you can kind of ruin the eyelash. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and measure it on my eye. What that means, I'm going to like put the eyelash on here to see if I need to cut it or if it's perfect how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just place it on here and kind of like play around and move it around. Okay, so far the eyelash fits me fine. I don't have to move it. I don't have to, not move it. I don't have to cut it around. So that's really good. All right, before anything, I'm gonna go ahead and use a eyelash curler and I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes up. Now, a lot of people are very scared to use eyelash, eyelash curlers and don't get me wrong. Like it, it looks pretty scary, but the thing is, how I do it, I don't press down all the way. I like to pump it slowly just so I can get that length going up and curl them. For me, it's a lot easier to curl my eyelashes first, then apply the eyelash and then mascara because it's going to blend in together. So you can tell the difference between this eye being curly or this eyelash being curly and this one just being straight. You can tell. I have the eyelash in my hand and I have the eyelash glue in my other hand. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a thin, even layer going across the band. Now, you don't want it to be too thick. If you put a thick layer on top of it, it's going to take a good bit to dry down. All right, so this is what the eyelash looks with some glue on it. There we go. Now, we're going to wait at least 15 to 30 seconds. I like to wave it around. I like to blow on it um, just so the adhesive will not dry down quickly, but it will give me enough time to play around. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of turning into like a little light blue hue in it. Like it's not clear anymore, it's turning light blue. That means it's starting to dry down, it's getting a bit tacky, and that's the best part when it's tacky, that is the best time to start putting your eyelash on because it's gonna start to adhere onto your eyelash. So I'm holding it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and place it and put it pretty much on top of my eyelashes. But I want to get as close as I can to my natural eyelash. Now what I'm doing, I am pressing down and I am gently pushing it down and like in so I'm going like down and up oh that's what it is down and up not down and in okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and start to clamp it down just so I can have more of my real eyelashes infusing with the false eyelashes 
I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but if someone turns from the side and you see that they have fake eyelashes on and you see something straight shooting out, that's normally their eyelashes because either they have naturally straight eyelashes or they didn't put mascara or they didn't curl it and it just didn't blend in that well. That is the first pair of eyelash on or the first lash on. And as you can see right here, it is on top of my eyelash band on my natural eyelash. And now all I'm doing, I'm just gonna kind of like brush it up a little bit more just to get a little bit more of a blended look. All right, so I went ahead and I curled my other lashes and I'm using the tweezers for this side. I have already put the glue and now it's tacky and time to apply it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my lash line as close as I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and start moving it around to where I want it to be in place. Now the one thing in using pointing to pointy tweezers, you have to be very careful. You don't get intimidated about using them because they're really pointy. I personally like it because it's gonna be, it one, it's a lot easy to do my eyebrows, hello. And two, it's really easy to get into moving around, um, doing the eyelashes and being able to place it better. So I'm just going over here on top of the eyelashes and I'm just tapping it, pushing it down and up. And then same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the tweezers and I'm going to apply my, not apply, I'm gonna go ahead and blend my natural lashes with the false eyelashes. All right guys, so as you can see, both eyelashes are on. I applied this side with the tweezers and I applied this side with the applicator. As you can see, they both did the same job. The only difference is it's whatever you personally like to use. For my eyelashes to look a little bit more blended and a little bit more put together, I like to put black eyeliner in my upper tight line and there's a huge difference. I'm gonna tell you that, there's a huge difference. So I'm using the Smashbox Gel Eyeliner and I'm gonna go ahead and get the waterline that's like all the way up here. Now, a lot of people are gonna be very irritated trying this or they're like, no way, I'm not getting that thing close to my eye. You don't have to, it's a personal, personal preference, but I like to do it and I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it up here. And the reason why I like to do this is because one, it it makes the look more, a bit more natural because there's not like those weird spaces you'll get. And also it makes your eyelashes look fuller and thicker and a lot prettier, I personally think. So you can see a big difference here. This eye looks a lot fuller and it looks thicker and it looks very, um, how would you say? It looks cleaner, that's what it looks like. And on this side, you can see that there is no eyeliner, that there's nothing, like you compare, you can see which side is thicker and which side isn't. Now, don't get me wrong, this side looks really gorgeous, really pretty, but this side looks a bit more cleaner and it looks a bit thicker. It all depends on what you like and how you feel. So for the last and final step, I'm gonna be taking my favorite mascara and this is the last Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect from Maybelline. It's really gorgeous, really pretty. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to blend my natural eyelashes with my false eyelashes just so it can have that extra blend in there. And I'm also going to apply it on my lower lash line. So this is what the wand looks like. It's got like a little curve, hold on. It's got like a curve to it. And I like it because it helps shape the eyelash. But what I'm doing, I'm just gonna lightly coat my real eyelashes with the false eyelashes. Now what you don't wanna do, you don't wanna go ahead and coat the whole eyelash because if you do, it can make the eyelash look really cl like clumpy, very thick, like it's not gonna look pretty. You, all you wanna do is just blend your real eyelashes with your false eyelashes. So I'm just going in and putting a bit mascara on my natural eyelashes and blending them as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my lower lash line. 
All right, so you can see the difference between no mascara versus mascara. So yeah, that is the end of the video. This is how I apply my false eyelashes. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And let me know what you guys want to see next, like for real. Um, one of my good friends, she suggested on me trying to do eyelashes, like me try to like step by step how to do eyelashes. And I was like, you know what, that's so freaking great. Like I'll totally do that. now. I'm so serious, like for real, if you guys have any suggestions, what you want to see, like any new things, like let me know, but in the budget please. Ya sé que soy bien coda, hello. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video, and yeah, alright guys, bye!